In times of war, clear and accurate communication can mean the difference between life and death. For every enemy code cracked, and for every intercept translated, there have been dangerous breakdowns in communication. On July 26, 1945, Harry Truman, Winston Churchill, and Chinese Chairman Chiang Kai-shek issued the Potsdam Declaration. The ultimatum outlined the terms of surrender for Imperial Japan, promising prompt and utter destruction should the Japanese government fail to comply. For the gaggle of reporters who had swarmed him after the declaration, Japanese Prime Minister Kantaro Suzuki had a simple message. No comment at this time. In Japanese, mokusatsu, derived for the term for silence. The Japanese government hadn't yet formulated its official response to the ultimatum, but a number of English language reports put it very differently. In some accounts, the Prime Minister didn't decline to comment. He simply ignored the ultimatum, as if responding to the grave threat were beneath his dignity. As the world now knows, that silence was loud and deadly. The mistranslation likely contributed to the breakdown of negotiations between governments. And on August 6, 1945, the first atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, claiming hundreds of thousands of lives. Less than 20 years later, conflict was brewing in the South Pacific. On August 2, 1964, North Vietnamese torpedo boats attacked the destroyer USS Maddox. The Americans proceeded to sink one North Vietnamese patrol boat and escape without casualties. But two days later, the American National Security Agency intercepted the North Vietnamese and concluded that a second attack had occurred. According to NSA historian Robert J. Hanyuk, the transmission was incorrectly translated. The phrase, we sacrificed two comrades, presumably used by the North Vietnamese to describe casualties among their own men, was translated as, we sacrificed two ships. We can't say for sure whether the mistranslation was a deliberate falsification by the NSA or simply went uncorrected, since the original Vietnamese version of the intercept is missing from the NSA archives. President Lyndon B. Johnson cited the rumored attack to convince Congress to authorize broad military action in Vietnam. the world would never be the same. In the fog of war, and under the influence of foggy translation, officials can end up making uninformed decisions, and the human toll can be staggering. Simple mistranslations can even alter the course of history. So the next time we're asked to observe a moment of silence, we might reflect on the power of words, as well as the responsibility falling on those who wield them.